weather's fucking bullshit. I miss getting out. So I thought I'd come out here and make a fucking vlog while people stare at me inappropriately in that not so nice way. Wanted to talk a bit about the carnivore diet and shit. Um, and as you can see from the title, who is the carnivore diet for? And I've been carnivore now for about two weeks. And I gotta say, it's definitely helped me recover from St. Lucia. Um, for those of you unaware, or maybe you didn't catch my podcast, and it's got the truckdriver.com and shit. Um, I had a rough month in terms of uh, emotional stability and depression and energy and lethargy. and I just wasn't getting shit done. Because basically, uh, I... I fucked up my diet. I lost my fat adaptation, I'm positive of that now. Um, my depression was at an all-time low. And it's been kind of a bit of a journey to recover from that. And to get out here and be productive again. It probably doesn't help that I haven't seen the fucking sun in I don't know how fucking long. I mean, between being inside editing all the time and, and straight up not getting outside at all. And you know me, I like it out here. That's why I'm out here right now in the fucking nasty ass weather. It just stopped raining, thankfully. Knock on wood. We all know how that goes whenever I fucking go somewhere. Across the street here and shit. So... The last video I put up was I'm going to try and be more cinematic and shit. Um, at the same time, I want to do these vlogs also because I do have shit to still, that I want to say. Um, it's just going to, like I said, I can't spend as much time putting this shit together. And trust me, I didn't spend a lot of time on this video. Um, basically, who the carnivore diet is for is if you have the following problems. Autoimmune disease, as in you have allergy breakouts, you have, you know, Crohn's disease, you have, uh, believe it or not, Christy, who's talking about her lupus all the time. Carnivore. Should be carnivore. Basically, the reason I preach carnivore as the diet of choice is it is anti-inflammatory. It takes the fiber out of your diet. It takes all of the shit out of that part of your digestive system that allows it the leaky gut to to flourish and let that shit into your bloodstream and cause the inflammation and autoimmune response that you typically you know have these reactions to so if you go carnivore it turns out meat's mostly digested before it gets to that point so you're basically eliminating all of the bullshit that is getting into your blood and fucking you up so if you have any autoimmune symptoms you know, allergies. Another thing it does is it reduces your mucus, which keto does too, by the way. Which is why a lot of people get pretty far on autoimmune on keto. I know I've lost some of my allergies just being keto. Um, the worst offending food for autoimmune is grain. Hands down, if you have an autoimmune symptom, grain is the cause of it. That's what that's what's happening to you. Cut out the fucking bread and pizza and shit. Or the fucking cakes and the cookies and all of that horse shit. Settle the fuck down. You gotta basically take your diet down to the level of health that you want. And if you are plagued by these things and they're ruining your quality of life, then you need to do something about it. You just don't fucking keep eating the shit and and, and then go to the fucking doctor and start getting fucking pharmaceuticals to, to manage it nip it at shit in the bud change your diet fix your health 
Also, someone else, the carnivore diet can help. And this has been fairly consistent results is basically carnivore causing relief for depression. Anxiety too, um, but anxiety you can kind of get with keto. Yeah, I got rid of my anxiety on keto. Um, it's really just the up-down cycle that I've been trying to, trying to manage all of this time. And every single time, in usually two to three weeks of being carnivore, my depression sy symptoms subside. So I know I have leaky gut. I know I have fatty liver. You know, and these are two issues that I do work on. Obviously, if you want to get rid of fatty liver, you got to get rid of alcohol, um, which I have not done. I still drink in moderation for the most part. My three drink limit, which is going to get put to the test today because I'm going to a party with an open fucking bar and shit. It's always going to be a trade off as to what health consequences you're willing to put up with and endure. To do the things like for me drink alcohol um, and that's a decision you got to make but I'm here to tell you the carnivore diet is very good if, if not excellent for autoimmune symptoms and it's also great for mental health sy symptoms that you may be experiencing um, Keto gets you part way there. You will notice improvement on keto, but if you still aren't happy with that, like your lows are still just a little bit low, and you want them gone, in my opinion, based on my personal experience, based on the anecdotal evidence that's out there, the carnivore diet will relieve those things. Um, it's, it's about health. That's what the carnivore diet is. And some people it isn't going to work for. Obviously, you have to like meat because that's all you're eating. You know, you obviously can't be a fucking vegan and do this. Unless Vegetable Police is your channel, then, then you can be vegan, do whatever the fuck you want, and go back and just hate yourself for being carnivore. But it is what it is. You, you know, you got to do what you can for your health, even if it's not a diet you're 100% in it. You know, and... People, so many people just eat the standard American diet and put up with all of these issues, often not even associating them with the diet that they're on. Um, they think it's calories in, calories out. They think, you know, that's the environment. They think, you know, whatever, whatever. But you can't convince them that it's nutrition that's causing their issues or that their issues are really not normal. That's the other thing. We, we normalize bad health to the point where it's just the way it is. You know, you, get, you have to be hungry every two hours. You have to take naps. You, you have to have headaches and allergies and autoimmune diseases. You have to be on some kind of fucking antidepressant or anti-anxiety meds. You have to be on pills. You have to do all of this shit because that's just the way it is. No, you can fix these things. You can nip them in the bud. You don't have to be diabetic anymore. Believe it or not, you eat keto the rest of your life, you're not going to succumb to diabetes. That's not going to be how you go. Heart disease, you can avoid that. Same thing. Now, there are people who argue with me. Hashtag fucking cholesterol and shit. But overall, you can't argue with the fact that my numbers improved and many other people's numbers improve on a ketogenic diet lowering their likelihood of dying of a heart attack, at least not prematurely, like in your 60s. Maybe you'll make it to 80. You know, who knows? It depends on the damage you did throughout your life, too. Because let's not forget, you might be stopping the, the damage coming in to your body, but that doesn't necessarily heal the damage that you've already done, which is where fasting comes into play. So... You know, carnivore is not a miracle. It's not something that is for everybody. And who I think it's not for, and this is going to be a little controversial, it is not a weight loss diet. It is not a weight loss diet. In fact, when I switch back and forth between keto and carnivore, you would think I would lose a little weight. 
I do not. I stay at my baseline. And I have lost a little weight now, but I was, I had gained some weight over the past month. I just, I've lost about three pounds. Um, but I went up to, to 200 pounds after my St. Lucia trip. Um, and I know it was because of my fuck up that I'm now having to recover from that. So carnivore is not a weight loss diet, period. It's not, it's a health diet. If you're fucked up and you start carnivore, will you lose weight? It could, it could happen. You could totally lose some weight if you're coming from a worse diet. You'll also gotta understand there's an adaptation period. It's not something you do for a few days. Um, 30 days minimum, if not, and that's coming from keto, I would say six to eight weeks minimum if you're coming from the standard American diet to carnivore directly. Um, obviously I would prefer to, to do the intermediate step of going keto and fasting and then proceed to carnivore, but that's just because that's the way I did it. Um, so I don't know the other way. I don't know how drastic that would be to you to go from standard American diet to carnivore. Um, the carnivore diet works for those things. The, the, the emotions, the, those health issues, it works for autoimmune, most autoimmune. Depending on how much damage has been done too, it's not gonna heal everything. It, it also, a common misconception is it somehow is fixing your leaky gut. It is not. If you go on carnivore for a long period of time and you go back to eating standard American diet foods you will have not only will you still have your reactions autoimmune depression all of those but they will be significantly worse and more noticeable because you stepped out of that way you normally feel because you're not fixing the leaky gut you're just keeping all the irritants out of your system which means, basically, you're stuck in the carnivore diet for as long as you want relief from those symptoms. And that's what I've been doing repeatedly is bouncing in and out of, out of carnivore. And every time I bounce out, my symptoms return. Every time I bounce out of keto, my symptoms get even worse. And sometimes taking over a month to recover. And that's what you gotta think about you know, especially with cheat days and all the other bullshit, as we continue to poison ourselves with our broken food system, these are the things you can do to mitigate it at the very least. Now, if you're one of those people that falls in and out of diets, you know, it just don't even bother with carnivore unless you can give it 30 days without cheating. You know, and I would almost say the same thing for keto. Don't bother with keto unless you can give it 30 days at least, if not six weeks. I would lean more towards six weeks with keto adapting. If you can't commit to six weeks without a cheat day in the beginning, you're probably not going to be able to stay keto your whole life. So will you get some results? Yes. Will you keep those results if you go keto and go back to the standard American diet? No. The weight creep will return. Your symptoms will return. The health issues will return. So keto and carnivore are not for people who are just looking for a quick fix to, for their weight or you know, thinking that they're gonna repair everything and then be able to go back to eating shit and having symptoms. Not having symptoms. Like, as in thinking they're somehow doing this process for a period of time is gonna repair leaky gut, it's gonna repair your gut health, is going to reduce your inflammation. Inflammation is always ready to happen. And if you introduce the inflammatory standard American diet and all the crap in it that fucking causes that, then you're essentially going to end up reintroducing everything you were trying to fix in the first place. 
and undoing tons of progress in the in the in the you know in the process of it. So you know, what the fuck do I know? I'm not a fucking expert. I'm not a fucking expert. I'm just a fucking asshole. So please like and subscribe. So if YouTube doesn't unsubscribe you, as they sometimes do. At least they sent me a note this time. They didn't just let me think that I was a shitty person. Leave a like and subscribe. Maybe that system will start working again. If you like this video, you found it enlightening, head to scottthetruckdriver.com. Leave a tip in the virtual fucking tip jar and shit. And uh, I'm going to make more videos. Don't worry. I just can't put as much time. I am a busy motherfucker, and I'm going to get busier in the next couple weeks. Um, so I'll do the best I can to keep content coming your way. So no, I know a lot of you were like a little bit like, oh shit. But I did get a lot of overwhelming supportiveness in my taking a step back from YouTube as a career choice. Um, and making it more of a part-time gig. So that's where I'm at with that. But if this wasn't enough for you... I do a weekly podcast, two hours of me talking shit about the food industry, about keto, about fasting, about minimalism, um, basically all the shit I've been talking about for years on this channel, um, including getting triggered and, and all these other things, and also dealing with some of the, the pitfalls and, and issues on my journey. I do in my podcast. The last podcast I did, I was ripping on processed food for two hours. Like, I could have gone three hours. That's how much I was, like, in the zone for that particular podcast. You can check that out at scottthetruckdriver.com for just $5 a download. Or you can go to patreon.com slash scottthetruckdriver. For $15 a month, you get access to all my podcasts. That's 40 hours of me talking in case you are feeling a little deprived that I haven't put out a video in a while. And uh, you get access to all of it for just 15 a month, plus any new ones that come out as they come out. So that's where we're at as far as what I'm fucking doing for this channel, what I'm doing for my content, and, you know, just as long as you know, I'm not a fucking expert. I'm just a fucking asshole. And uh, now it's getting cold. I gotta go get ready for this employee party at the bar I work at. Where there's gonna be no keto food, probably. Unless uh, they get the pepperoni processed food tray. And there's not gonna be any carnivore food. Well, there might be carnivore food, but you gotta watch out. They sugar their shit. They sugar on wings. They sugar, you know. I'm hoping there's, that there's something I can eat. But what am I gonna do to prepare for that? I'm going to straight up go, and I'm going to eat something before I go to the party so that I can snack if there's something there, and I can abstain if there isn't. So, have a nice motherfucking day, or Christmas, if I don't put out another fucking video before then. Oh, and I'm working on the St. Lucia one, so you, I will put out another video. It just might take me a little while. That, that's a pretty intense video, editing-wise. Have a nice fucking day and shit.